Loving Mary, heaven's ball, you are the joy of our is a very special occasion and for us as disciples of Jesus Christ the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary is a special joy. A birthday is also an occasion to celebrate the life of a person and the life of Mary has so much to celebrate but this day I restrict myself to only speaking about Mary the virgin most faithful. When God chose Mary to be the mother of his son Jesus and to play an important role in salvation history, Mary said yes. Her yes indicated a strong and abiding faith in God. No sooner was Jesus born than Mary had to flee to Egypt along with her husband Joseph and the little child. And Mary once again said yes to God, indicating a strong and abiding faith in God. Later on in life, Mary did not understand the ways of her son Jesus. But she accepted that whatever he was doing was the will of his heavenly father. This was a strong and abiding faith. And that is why at the wedding feast at Cana, she tells the workers, do whatever he tells you. At the foot of the cross, Mary was heartbroken, but she accepted everything as God's will. She did not shout, she did not scream, she did not curse anyone, but patiently and silently bore her sufferings, manifesting her deep and abiding faith in God. My dear friends, we too are called to have a faith like that of Mary. The faith that I'm talking about is not an intellectual concept, but a faith that enables us to speak the truth and not distort, dilute or destroy it. A faith that enables us to fight for justice in spite of the injustice that we see around us. A faith that makes us to fight for the dignity of all, to protect the environment and to have an option for the poor. In other words, a faith that is lived out, a faith that is manifested in our day-to-day -day living, a faith that inspires and motivates us to be outstanding men and women of God. Mary, our mother, we pray to you on this lovely day that you may give us a faith like that of yours.